my name is Splime, and today I'm going to be showing you the Splime Studios Light Rig V1. Now this lighting rig is mainly for um, anyone who wants to have a basic set of lights to start off their animations and so they can work off something uh, before obviously customizing the lights to add to their scene. Um, so what I've done is I've made a little rig, uh, hopefully it's user friendly. Um, and which should hopefully allow you guys to create a decent scene with some beautiful lights uh, to kick off your animations. Um, now obviously this is my first time trying to code, um, well, I guess it's coding, um, the expre with Expresso in Cinema 4D to add the user data. So, you know, it was a bit of a trial for me and obviously there's going to be a few things which um, uh, you guys will want for V2. But um, anyway, I've uploaded it to Selfie, where you can buy the product. Uh, it's here. Um, I've currently got an $8.99 for uh, $8 now because I'm not quite sure what the price uh, is going to be. So what I'm going to do is, down below, tell me what you think a decent price for the product should be. I'm just about to show you what it's going to be, um, so you can make your judgement from that. So anyway, when you download the rig, um, you come up with a obviously a Rinra archive, which you can extract the README, uh, which basically just says how to install, which I'll demonstrate now anyway, and has a terms of use, which is basically just don't uh, reproduce, copy, infringe, or give free copies of this rig away and um, under copyright law. Anyway, um, it does say how to install it here, but I'm going to demonstrate it now. Like I said, so I'm going to go in here, percent app data percent. If you're on Windows 7, I believe you can go to the bottom left hand corner and type it in run or just in the taskbar, I believe. Anyway, so click enter, then you should go scroll down, you should find Maxon. Um, so if you have R14, R15, anything like that, you'll have different Sim 4D folders in here. So I'm just going to go to R16 library, browser, and these are all the different uh, plugins I've got in here. So I've got the rig, I've got Creeper Does MCs, FMR5, uh, a few other things in here like the Minecraft mod packs by Weed Lion, um, and there's mine here. So you basically just what you want to do is you want to extract both of these files first to your desktop or wherever you can find it, and then just simply drag it into here. You can actually go straight from the folder into here though, and it automatically extracts, so you can do that. And there, so once you go uh, and put it in there, open up Cinema 4D, make sure it's closed before you do that though, and go into Content Browser. And you should find in your Content Browser that you've got all the other plugins, and then it should be a new folder called Splime Studios Light Lights 2015 or something like that. Um, go inside it, and you've got a couple of things over here. So, what I've done is I've got a two uh, default things for render settings. So I've got 1080p, 720p render settings. They're basically the same, although I've on the 720p render settings I've toned down the ambient occlusion a little bit to increase render times. So that's what I've done. Um, and yeah. So what I'm going to do is to actually use this rig, put in the lights. Um, usually when you're going to be using this you're obviously going to have a weld in which you're going to be animating on. So um, just put that in after. So I've just got a few demonstrate example welds here, which actually is included in the rig. So I'm just going to drag in one of the welds. Okay, so this is just a weld straight from my random seed on the Minecraft weld I made. And there we are. So you're probably looking at this thing and thinking a few things. Okay, there's clouds, there's water, there's weird lights. Um, and random splines. Okay, so let me just explain to you these different things. So, just double click on the which render settings you're going to use. So I'm just going to click on the 720p, and then you can click on the objects tab here. So, um, what you're going to do is I've made user data to make this rig easier to use. Um, unlike other rigs where you just have to move the lights where you want, I've made it so you can just click on the SS Lights Controller V1. And you can see down here you've got an assortment of different controls. So when you open it, it should look something like this. There we are. So you've got lighting and scene extras. So with the lighting you can add a sky. Now let me just zoom out. 
If I turn off the sky, you probably don't notice it because I've got the environment uh, factor quite high and a bit of fog. Um, but really, it adds a really nice uh, sky look. Um, so you can check that, uncheck that. With the sunlight, you can turn that off, turn it on. Most of the time, you really want to have the sunlight though. And you can increase, decrease the brightness to however you like. Um, so also in uh, lighting, I've got additional lighting, which is mainly for central centralizing the light in the middle of the scene. So in case you have a few characters, movement around here, um, something happening, you want to have that just bit of extra light artificially put in there just to make sure that it, your shadows are minimal so you can see everything. Um, now if you increase this you can notice that the light is increasing around this area. If I show this to you in the background, say look at that area over there, if you increase and decrease this there is not a lot of light difference going on over there. So that's just for basically centralizing the light in the um, scene. So anyway, um, there's also a new feature I added in called Scene Extras. Now, um, you can change clouds, water, which is animated, which you can actually look in here. Um, it's around the whole scene and it actually is animated if you can notice that the water is rising and falling down like that. And it's got a really nice render, which I'll show you some examples of renders in a minute. Um, yeah, you can change the placement and the height, because I understand that not every scene will have the right uh, height uh, for water level. So this goes over the whole scene, and you can just reduce the height um, to where you like it, increase it in case this, the water level is higher, and so on. Um, obviously if you don't want water, you don't want like that, you just uncheck it and yeah. So I'll just keep this, um, I think it was 75. Yeah, so that's a nice uh, cool feature. Uh, also I've got on the scene is all these clouds. Now it doesn't look like much now, you can turn them off if you don't want them. Um, wait a second. I think there might be a little problem. Yes, I think we have a problem with the rig already. Ooh, okay, I figured out a glitch. So when I click the clouds on and off, um, only two of the clouds go away. So. I'll fix that up in post anyway, um, basically just I want to get those clouds away when I click this. Just a bit of an espresso error, um, so yeah, ignore that, I'll fix that up ASAP. Anyway, what you can do is you can actually change the height of the clouds, so you can put it where you want in the scene, um, however you like. Okay, so now if you want to get down and I'll show you a few renders, which this can do, um, rendered images. Okay, so this was what I did in another world, uh, same features, completely raw render. Um, that's also in the pack so you can have a look at this. Uh, I've got a nice light, uh, sun flare, there's the water. Doesn't look too good in that image actually, it's a bit too blue for my liking, but you can change that up with different lights. Um, here we go, that's a better view of it, you can actually see a bit more of the darker blue around here that blue to me is a bit too blue. <laughs> I know, I'm just being a bit specific. Anyway, there we've got the clouds in the background just you can see. We've got a nice sky and then we've got the sun. So that's actually on this world right here. So that's just a, I think it's this perspective right here actually. So um, yeah, that's, that's a nice look. Um, and then we've got another one uh, which is the same world as before, uh, which has got a nice water there and then you've got the lighting and the sh area shadows so yeah it's quite nice and we've also got a character uh, it's a good old slime cow in there and a bit of depth of field so yeah that was all done with raw these raw lights obviously when you're making your own world like i've said you would add more lights just to change up the scene a bit so yeah th this rig is basically just to make to get a start on your um on your world lighting because i know a lot of people struggle with um, lighting in general and render settings. So yeah, I've already got the render settings 
put in there when I double clicked on 720p render settings and you've got you know all these different things which you don't need to mess around with they're already good um yeah what else uh that is pretty much it um I've got another world which I can demonstrate the rig in so I'm just going to delete this world and there we are so the first thing you probably notice is uh, the water level is basically flooding the city and you obviously don't want that so you're gonna basically put the water level down to the correct height so I'm gonna go down to water I'm gonna reduce that and try and get that so it's there we are just something like maybe a bit less 5% so let's have a look at this um, Let's have a look and see if that works. Just trying to make sure that's the right height. Okay, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to go in here and delete stationary water. Sorry, I forgot to do that. Um, so what you want to do is you're going to go into the world yet yeah, and delete the stationary water. That will give you an idea of where you want the water level to be. Sorry about that. And back into the world. Uh, the animated water, that's about the height you want it to. So you want it to be not right on the top, but not right at the bottom or middle. So I kind of like set 8% there. And then obviously that's animated, moves up and down. Yeah, sorry. Wonder, wondered what was going on there. So there, you've put the water in that world and you can continue animating as you like. Uh, I don't know if you want to have a brighter scene, maybe midday, you want something like 60%, or if you want to have a darker kind of evening day, then do something like... Yep, okay, so... Um, that's basically that. Um, like I said, uh, it is the rig is available in Selfie, um, and what I want you to do, like I said earlier, um, is please tell me what you think a reasonable price for this thing is. Now, I don't want it to be too cheap because I, uh, it did take a fair bit of time for me to actually make this, and also I don't want every single person to just to have this, um, so they can just ask for money for intros and using my, um, rig and don't change anything, because really that's just not what I was aiming for. What I was aiming for is to help people get a start on lighting and animation so they can develop it and um, work on it um, with this as a basically a foothold or premise. So anyway, um, thanks for watching. Uh, you can have a sneak peek um, with some of the lightings I've done. I used it for the Unicorn Farts intro um, primarily. It's actually exactly the same world. Um, and yeah, um, uh, it'd be great if you could um, give me a critique. What do you think? Anything should be improved? Is it too expensive? Um, obviously that cloud glitch I'm going to fix up. And yeah, I'll see you later. Thanks guys. What should I do?